Dilemma for African Union as crowd applaud takeover. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. It has become a familiar scene these days in Africa. A few soldiers on state TV announcing that you have taken over. This time a fraudulent election was the excuse. Ali Bongo, the incumbent president, had just asked earlier been declared the winner of a highly criticized poll. International observers and journalists had been barred from covering it. In a patronage system where support is effectively bought, it is hard to gouge genuine support. But in Gabon, there is no doubt that having been in power since 1967, and many have had enough of the Bongo family dynasty, people were quick to take to the street, appearing to be genuinely delighted. So far, there is no sign of a pushback. For the international community, including the African Union, this presented a dilemma. France has rushed out with its usual condemnation. Its influence in Africa has waned significantly in recent years, and a call for yet more years of Ali Bongo is likely to go down in Gabon as well as a hot slap with a wet fish. So, um, look, what is going to, what is going on? What do you expect them to do? That Gabon on, that's a, the one that happened in Gabon. The family has been ruling for over 50 years. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and I know say the, ele the election, I know do away. That's the issue. You know that, oh, this particular family, I don't rule for over how many years. And then you still come aside. Come they say eh, na, eh, na, na you win election. Who does that? Why people are still complaining? Who does that? They don't they don't they they don't they, they, don't, they how go you speak the grammar. They don't they maxed out. They are not ready to take anything in again. Huh. All right. An indictment on OAU for allowing criminals to take over power in the name of democracy. Somebody will bribe and use all kinds of thugs and weapons to grab power. The so-called AU will kill power. It's instead, and instead will congratulate the criminal. And if the military come, they will come to speak out rubbish. We will then survive rubbish. Okay? Imagine no covering by journalists. They thought that is, it is business as usual. I would encourage Nigerian politicians to continue the way they are doing now. Most especially to him that has made life difficult for himself and other people. One day, they are caught to be fool and nothing lasts forever. This is what I normally say. Nothing lasts forever. Alright, this is clearly the move of God across West African countries. Even though certain persons may not see it as such. Why will leaders keep imposing either their relations on power or actually handing over political power to election triggers? While well, expecting the Almighty God to keep calm as the unrepented imposters keep punishing poor and helpless masses with a high cost of living while serving the interests of the thieving Western partners who are strictly in Africa for their selfish political gains. These countries do not have patriotic military who wouldn't want their country to be a banana republic where anything, anything goes, I tell you. The days of Nigerian politicians are numbered. Neither Africa nor African at cost by the leaders. Imagine a senator earning 30 million naira salary a month and still stolen domain spaghetti during enters. My real cost be that I'm telling you. That is you oh, that person does not have contentment. Even if they have you they have you anyway. You cannot be contented. Ha, you get a CB. You get a CB. Please all churches and monks should stand up and pray for the eternal Nigerian army, most especially for the ground, what an air defense that the Almighty should open their eyes, empower and strengthen them to save Nigeria from the hands of a wicked politician. Oh, the spirit of enough is enough before the end of this year. Now, this particular news is, they say, dilemma for African Union as crowd applause take over. African Union, which then they really offer safe go? What are they offering? What are they bringing to the table? That's the question. What are they bringing to the table?
AU leaders are the same mysterious ones. Example, Nadi Redition from Kenya, sponsored by Uru Kenyatta. All African leaders go quiet. Killings under Buhari government by his kinsmen. Fulani, no condemnation from AU. General elections matter in Nigeria. You know, consign them. African Union is useless and who full of the pots. Okay? No bhala. No problem. All right. In Nigeria, a nation without caring to pay salaries and time, no gratuity as state or local government, no quality education, no political stability, no social welfare rights, no electricity, no economic growth among citizens, no medical commitment in hospitals and masses are left with desperate poverty, hunger, inflation from one level to another in the name of capitalism. Your capitalist matters, law, African nation. Okay. It is because the Africans, the leaders in Africa, including Nigeria, has improved, impoverished their citizens now. No job, nothing, nothing. Yet to hear billions on daily basis. What do you expect? France can go to hell for all I care. Where is France when Bongo family to cover Gabon for decades? Enough is enough. It is high time we take our future in our hands and not the other way around. Arise, Africa, and learn. Okay. The issue now is now the fact that um, All right. This country have patriotic military who don't want their country to be a banana republic where Everything goes well. This is me saying at the end of the day, we are going to see what really, really happens. Huh? We have to see what happens. Okay.